Good evening, everybody. Tonight, I am helping Melissa pick out some crystal singing bowls. Melissa has the white bowls. That is an F pentatonic scale. It sounds like this. double octave and if you want to hear that played by itself I do have a video under crystal singing bowl sets you can hear that so that was her original purchase but then she invested in a hand pan that was in C C sharp minor and she really enjoyed it and she wanted some crystal bowls to transition into there so then she bought the red bowls which is your C sharp, E, and G sharp. And she really liked that, but she has super fallen in love with her C sharp minor um, hand pan, and she wants to have more bowls so that she can leave the F pentatonic at home and take more bowls in the scale of her C sharp minor. So what I'm suggesting is these three green bowls, a D sharp, a B, and a C sharp. The A also fits in that C sharp minor scale, but it is not in her hand pan, but we already have it here, so it works out. And this is what the C sharp minor scale It's not every note in the C-sharp minor scale, but it would be the notes that she would need to play her hand pan. So that's what this video is all about, um, suggesting that we just get three more bowls because we're starting to get a lot of bowls, which can be very overwhelming. Now, when you have this many bowls, what I suggest is you get a little piece of paper and on the floor in front of it, you have the name of the bowl. And then if you want, you can write little notes such as, ooh, I love it when I play my G with my G and the B. And so you can little do little markings like maybe three green circles to remind yourself is stunning sound. So what I'm going to do now, just to show how if you've got a large area or even sitting on the floor like this, how all of this sounds beautiful together. Now I know Melissa likes to play up on the table, so she's got like a nice U shape. Um, by all means, you can do that as well. So I have really not done any practicing with this. I've just got them set up alphabetically. I'm going to play that first so you can hear it, the whole range and then I'm just going to play away and do a bit of noodling. I'm going to do a lot of grace notes. So a grace note would be something like if I played the grace note, I'm going to go to the red and back. Just as that little leading me up somewhere and then falling back. Or sometimes it might be that I'm coming downwards. So I'm briefly going to the red um, E and then back up to my F. And those grace notes, um, if you use them just very gently, it can add a whole new dimension to your sound bath. So, um, I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you about this video. I'm now just going to play and have fun and explore this because I always, always say you don't need to be a trained musician. Use your ear, use what sounds nice and just explore. So let's have some fun. Oh, forgot one other thing. I'm going to move very quickly through the transitions because this is a video to help you hear how all well the sounds go together. In a traditional sound bath, I would 
really slow down my playing. Very soft, slow transitions from one note to the next. But then it would take me an hour or 45 minutes to play with this whole set. And I like this video to be a lot shorter so that you can go either, yeah, I really love this or no, it's not what I'm looking for. So just bear that in mind when you play, um, I would suggest you play a lot slower.
So you can hear by what I was playing, I was just kind of looking for patterns where it wasn't two notes beside each other as the main notes, but then stepping in for that little grace note in there. A little bit of challenging dissidence adding that mystery in there. So there's a huge um, array of sounds you can create from this. I didn't show you at the beginning going all the way up the scale and down. So this is what we would have. a total of 28 different tones in all of the sets. Um, so basically, like I said, this is the F major pentatonic with a C sharp minor, kind of pentatonic, kind of not, um, because you've got your C sharp, your D sharp, your E. There's no F sharp, then we go G sharp, a, but then we've added the B because the B is what's in um, Melissa's tongue drum and then the high C sharp. So I hope this video helps Melissa decide does she want to add a D sharp B and C sharp to her set. I know when we talked to the phone, Melissa and myself talked about adding the lower octave but I think it just gets to be too overwhelming and way too many big bowls if right now you go to the third octave B, which is going to be 13 inches, the G sharp, which is going to be 14 inches, the um, D sharp, which is 18 inches, a C sharp is an 18 inch bowl. Um, it just gets so overwhelming. I think this might just do your purposes, Melissa, um, allowing you to enjoy your F bowls while still having um, something gorgeous to go with your tongue pan. So Melissa, if you want something else, by all means, I'll be happy to help you out um, and everybody else. So now you kind of see what we do. Maybe something in here stood out to you. It's like, oh my gosh, I love that. Um, and I can always make a video for you too. So have yourself a wonderful night and take care. Bye. Before I go, in case we don't get this on video, here are the notes. F3. G3. A3. C4, C sharp 4, D4, like delightful, D sharp 4, E4, like exciting, F4, like fun, G4, like gorgeous four. G sharp four. A4, like adorable. B4, like beautiful. C5, so fifth octave, C like charming. C sharp five. And D5, like delightful five. Have yourself a wonderful evening.
take care. Bye-bye.